Pumpkin draw. Somebody help him. Pumpkin draw. We got to teach him to draw. Pumpkin draw. Come on, let's help him. Pumpkin draw. We got to teach him to draw. Well, here I am. I'm Tom Angleberger. You know, uh, I do the Origami Yoda books and the new Geronimo Stilton graphic novel, and I've written lots of books, and I've drawn a bunch of books. And so even though I draw for a living, I don't always draw as good as I want to. Lots of times I think I, I would like to draw better. Sometimes I get jealous of my artist friends. They seem like they can draw anything. So I decided, hey, instead of being jealous of them, why don't I see if I can learn from them? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to call them up and see if they'll teach me to draw because I need to know how to draw. So I'm gonna call them up and we'll see if they can teach me how to draw something. And then I'll come back and I'll uh, grab my paper and my pen and I'll see if I've learned anything. <laughs> Let's hope I learned something. I also hope maybe you'll learn something too. Uh, they're each gonna be teaching me how to draw. Uh, and so why don't you grab a piece of paper and a magic marker or a pencil and see if you can draw along with us. Maybe when we're done, we'll all know how to draw something. Let's hope it works out. I think I'm gonna make my first call right now. So the first person I'm gonna call is my friend Jonathan Todd. Now, Jonathan is a graphic novelist, but his graphic novel isn't out yet. That's because he's taking a lot of time and really drawing it nice. I've seen some of the top secret stuff he's working on. It is really fantastic. I would love to be able to draw like he does. So I'm going to call him up and see if he can uh, give me some pointers. All right. Hi, uh, Jonathan. How you doing out there? All right, Tom. Good to see you. It's great to see you. I'm so excited because you promised to teach me how to draw a kid like in action. Yeah, yeah. That's fun. I mean, I think, you know, when you draw comics, I mean, that's kind of, you need people doing stuff, right? You know, well, so. Yeah. That's my problem. I was like, I have trouble drawing them doing stuff. I usually just draw them just standing there. Yeah, well, that works too, you know, as long as he's saying something. Yeah, you know, uh, change the background maybe. But yeah, it, it's fun. Um, I, I don't know who your cartoonist you like growing up. But I was a big fan, a, a fan of um, Bill Watterson. Oh. And I love how his stuff was just so action-packed. And I just, I think he really inspired me to just draw people like just doing stuff. So. Yeah, so in that spirit, let's just do something. Let's All right, so start what running. Kind of action are you running? How, how about just running? Oh, good. That's good. Yeah, just running. So um, I have to draw Geronimo running away from stuff all the time. So this would be great. Ah, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So um, let's see. So what I again, I, I'm drawing with pencil, and I like to do light because then when you're drawing light, you can erase easily, and um, I do that a lot. Or if you need to draw at different sizes, so. First, I basically draw a skeleton doing something, and a then skeleton. I add the details. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But now so, I gotta um, learn how to draw a skeleton. <laughs> yeah, but it's like a simple skeleton. So, like an oval for the head. So, watch. So, let's see if I'm drawing someone. So, I, and I kind of put things on a diagonal because um, when you put things on a diagonal, that kind of shows action. So, okay. I, you know, even with the head, you know, when you're running, you're kind of like lunging, and you're, you know, so I even so this is gonna be the head, but right now, it's, it, it's just a circle now. Circle. Okay. And then, um, then I draw this line, kind of, I think it, in old drawing books, it says a line of action. So um, they're going to be lunging that way. Then I draw, okay, and I'm gonna, you think about the shape of the kid you want. I, I draw a lot of kind of really skinny, thin kids or whatever, skinny kids. And um, so I put it, a, a, a bigger circle for their chest on that, that little line. Okay. And then um, a little another circle, it's going to be their stomach. Okay. And then their waist is, is, is like another oval. So it's like a, kind of like a, like a weird snowman. I don't know. So the head, the chest, the stomach lightly. Well, I, and, yeah, this is looking good. So, I've got a weird snowman. I don't know about Yeah, yeah, that's, that, that's what you want. That's what you want. So then, um, then, then I think about the arms. A lot of times I'm always um, acting up stuff. So um, I just draw a line to be this part of your arm. And then, and then this, then the forearm, 
another line, okay? And then for now, I'll just wait for the hands. I'm just gonna put a circle. So we got this, we got this part, woo, okay. So then, then we're gonna do the other arm going back, back. So then a line up there. Now where's that, oh, I see, it's sort of connecting, okay. Yes, the bottom yes. Of the so this is your, uh, the top of your uh, upper body. And then okay. the arm is just, so it's like, like this, okay. So okay. then we go to this, and then the elbow, and then another line there. Yeah. <laughs> and then another circle. And we'll put the details later. So then, because it's all light, if we didn't like this, we could uh, draw it smaller or whatever. Okay. But in a circle, so we're not, we don't have to worry about the details. So now we're going to draw the, the, the legs. So we have a line going up there to be, you know, you know this guy. <laughs> And then, and then the, the knee will be here, and then uh, another line there to be the um, um, calf shin. And then line here to be the other leg. Uh huh. <laughs> and oh, then, it, because cartoons, they're, they're exaggerating, so then we have the other arm, the other leg here, other part of the leg, so thigh, the thigh bones connected to the knee bone, and then, <laughs> and then we'll put over here for their one of their feet, and then one for their feet. Okay, so uh, yeah. All right, so that's what I got. What do you think? You got a good skeleton. Yeah, look at that. Perfect. All right, so I've got a running stuff. skeleton. Uh, yeah, so I might is, just make the book about skeletons. So that yeah, <laughs> they, they just, just throw, yeah, just uh, throw some eye sockets in there. So, um, so now this is the heavy lifting. We got, we got, we got the the. The, the basic action. So now okay. we're just doing the details. So we'll start with the face, right, Tom? We'll start with the face. And let's see, for this nose, again, noses can be very simple. I try to keep my simple nose as simple. And I just put a little curve like that. It looks like a, uh, like a slanty L. Yeah. A slanty then, L? Well, for me, I mean, again, the noses can be, you can put the Beetle Bailey nose. You could, um, uh, um, again, Not a stop reference in Beetle Bailey, man. That's <laughs> I, I, I love it. Was, as a kid, I thought it was a hilarious strip. Um, God, God bless the late Mort Walker. I got to meet him one day, and um, nice guy. But anyway, um, okay. So now, the, um, so now, eyes you can keep simple. I usually do dots, um, but if they're smiling, you might just kind of make a little curve line. But we'll just keep it simple. Just dots. We'll keep it simple for our show, for your show here. Okay. And then. Um, Maybe, you know, just, he's just uh, happy, happy as he runs. <laughs> I, and I love the way you did it in your own notes. Here. So now, I, I, I think you said that <laughs> because I messed up. No, I love the notes. Remember, it's variation. You know, it's like taking so have you can have this kind of nose, this nose, you know, it's like, it, it doesn't matter. It's looking more like a chicken than a human right now. No, no, we're good. We're good. We're good. Got we're a good. lot of work to do. That's good. So now, um, sides of the face. Curve line, the cheek, the chin. Uh, yeah. There you go. Okay, okay. And then oh. I, I did a little curve for the ear. Oh, okay. I remember the ear from the last episode. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then um, let's give him a funky hairdo. Funky and, hairdo, uh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's see, uh, let's see, uh, maybe he has a funky hairdo, spiky hairdo or something. But you, but you can, you can, it can, it can be a simpler hairdo. It could be, it could be, say if, uh, let's, let's do it. you could, you could have like a hairdo like this with the part here, you know? Okay. okay. And you got a hairdo. Sometimes you, you get you have to have fun with your drawing. Yeah, or a cap. So, and then we're gonna give him a funky hairdo. Okay, there you go. He, he, he got his hair spiked and there we go. <laughs> okay, all right. And then the sides of his, other side of his. Okay. Okay. Great, great, great. So now um, let's do a simple uh, collar again. He can be in a t-shirt. I like I like t-shirts because they're easy to draw. Okay, hold on a second. I'm I'm uh, 
Okay. Okay. All right. I see. You've got. Yeah, so that's sort of floating above that circle. It's not right oh, on that circle. That's sort of oh, well, it, it, you know, it again. It it can be it can be very depending on how long their neck is. So it can be it can be on the circle. So say if um, I did this one up here, um, and say I did his chin here. Let's see. Okay, so it could be right on the circle. Um, if there, again, what's nice about doing it lightly is then we can move the circle down if we don't think it looks right. Okay, all right. So it's variation. Yeah. yeah. Okay. okay. So then we have his, this is the shape of the arm. So now we can do a t-shirt. I like t-shirts again because you can just do a line here, line here, line here, and then it's just three simple lines. And then it's to show that that's a t-shirt sleeve. Okay. I think yeah. I got the t-shirt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe. And then, um, then the other, the other side, other sleeve. Yeah. Great, great, great. And mm -hmm. then the rest of the t-shirt here. I've never been good at realistic, uh, shirts and stuff. I know like if you go to art school, you have to draw drapery and stuff. Yeah. But again, yeah. my okay. philosophy, they just have to know what it is. It's a shirt. <laughs> okay. All right. I think I've I think I've got I don't know if they'll know it's a head, but I think they will know it's a shirt. And then they 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 piece it together. It's good. You're looking good. <laughs> <laughs> so then like you can do long pants or shorts. I guess it is summer at the moment. Um so but but you know, long pants I think are easier to draw. Okay. So let's, let's do that. Easy. <laughs> <laughs> so, so let's, uh, above that little line that's kind of in between, that's kind of the bone, if you will, of the skeleton. So we'll put the top of the pants or the leg, and then we come around the knee, and okay. then the pant leg, and go up, yeah, yeah, and then um, the inside of the pant leg. Okay, then his, the rear end here, a little curve for the rear end. We're drawing then, the rear end, huh? <laughs> the rear end. <laughs> you know, and then um, the bottom, uh, other side of the leg, the knee, up, pant leg, down. I feel like it's like yoga. <laughs> I think I'm like a yoga move. And then, um, then connect the rear end to the other um, sleeve. I mean, other pant leg, and then there, so he got his pants on. Thank goodness. <laughs> Great. Oh, so man. now we got the middle body. So now let's do. Let's go work on the arms and legs. So um, we're gonna just like a little a line here, line here to be this part of the arm. Okay. And then we. This is where the hand's gonna be. So then from here we're gonna do the forearm, and then leave room on this side. Okay, make it three. There we go. Okay. Yep. Yeah. So then hands again. So the, basically, I, uh, I always look at my hands when I'm drawing, or sometimes when I'm holding things, I'll use my phone. But if we're from this angle, his thumb would be around here, and then I just do a thumb like this. And I know I just put the thumb in first. So usually, when I'm running, my hands are together, and so like I'm trying to do this. Okay, so I have the thumb. Okay, okay. So, and then I'm gonna do you're doing. other four fingers. One here is covered by the thumb. Another one's kind of covered by the thumb. Then this one is here, and then the pinky, like that. Yeah, looking good, Tom. Okay, and then this curve, this curve down, and then boom. And you can put a watch on them if you want, or, or not. <laughs> so you got one arm. So then let's do the other arm. Okay, from the uh, sh shirt leg, I mean shirt, yeah, shirt, shirt sleeve, sorry. Line up here, line up here, elbow, down. Okay, and then from this angle, we show the um, top side of the fist. Okay. Oh, so let's see, we're going here. I do, a, I do a lot of acting when I'm drawing, so then... I've noticed. Uh, yeah, because I, I, I always forget how to draw it. So then, let's see. Uh, 
and then a curve right here, and then the knuckle. So then one, two, three, uh, and then uh, and then I do uh, the the last. I show it so you see the last finger. That's how I do it. Yeah. So. <laughs> Okay. All right. Okay, great, great, great. Wow. It's actually, I mean, I think it's actually starting to look like a person running. Yeah, that's great. You're looking good, Tom. You're doing and a good then, job. You're a teacher. Oh. So now, again, just like noses and eyes seem different, you can see kind, kind of sneakers you want. Um, I just developed a way when I was younger of just drawing some sneakers, and I know the styles have changed now, but. Um, Let's see, I do a little, uh, the tongue of the shoe, like if the sneakers, then I do his laces. You do the laces first. I, just the top of the, just the, uh, where it's tied. And then, yeah, I mean, again, you, yeah, that's, that's just how I do it. Um, and then, cause I already have the bit, the main, main shape. So I know that the shoe is going to be an oval. Then I do the top of the shoe here. It's a curve, and then I do a line here, and then I do the cross. I I I just do crosses to be, to be the rest of the laces. Okay, and then the bottom of the sneaker, I just do a long line, and then where the ankle goes, I, I do a little little piece here just to show you. That's kind of where his foot goes into the shoe. This little little curve thing there. And then that's going to be the bottom of the shoe. But then I add something at the the sole. Okay. In the sole, I just kind of do an extra little, like a, a flexible rectangle at the bottom. Flexible rectangle. <laughs> it goes along the bottom. And again, um, this is just a simple sneaker. And then you can either choose your brand. You can do a little swoosh for Nike. Or you might want to do a circle. For, I think that might be Converse. <laughs> so <laughs> maybe you can, so, you know, just be creative. Okay. What about Keds? What was the Keds one? Again? I don't remember the Keds, but I know that Adidas is like the three lines, right? Like, yes. Yes. Yeah. That's or cool. you do generic. I, mean, I drew a swoosh here and it doesn't even look right. It looks. Oh, it, it does, it, and then we don't want Nike to come after us. So, you know, just. <laughs> so here we go. And then and for the other shoe, um, Sometimes I might flip my paper, make it easy for me. Really? Okay. Yeah, why not? That's and then I get tip. the tongue. I would have tried to draw an upside down shape. <laughs> the tongue. Um, and then I do the laces again. And then I do the curve part. Okay. Man, I am. Uh, I don't know. Yeah. And then um, the, the little curve part where the foot goes in there. And then another little curve here, bottom of the shoe. And then um, oh, no. long, flexible rectangle. Oh, I don't think I've done. I don't think I've done very good on the upper. Well, I, and I, uh, no, no, you're you're good. You're good, man. Yeah. Just, again, they just have to know it's another sneaker. You know, you don't have a block on it. You know, it's like, oh yeah, that's supposed to be a sneaker. That that's all you go for. Um, and then the rest of the laces, I just crosses on the left of the laces and then pick your brand <laughs> and then just kind of show that he has a foot that goes connects from the pant leg to the shoe and I think you're good and then you can flip it back and then it's the person running and then in Waterson style I always put them off the ground put a little shadow underneath <laughs> yes that's something I just learned recently <laughs> just to put them off the ground yeah <laughs> and there you go and they're running and then one, one, an old cartoon in the book, I said, the, the wider you put their legs, the faster they look like they're going. So another little thing. So yeah. So there we go. Action shot. Excellent. I, Good I, job, I, Tom. I it looks like a person running. His head could use some work. Yeah, yeah. I mean, and maybe we can maybe do more conservative here, do next time. But yeah, this is, this is, this is fun. No, that I like, you know, you know someone running. I hope so. I hope yeah. so. That looks great. Yeah.
Yeah. Jonathan, I think you did the impossible. You taught me how to draw an action pose. Now I, <laughs> now I don't have to just show everybody standing around all the time. Uh, no, you're great, Tom. Oh, uh, man, you did a great job. Now, if I call you back next week, will you have something new for me? Yeah, I think I'll think of something. Uh, yeah, maybe someone eating something or sitting. Ooh, yeah, I, would like that. I, draw. I had to draw eating a lot with Geronimo. But so. Yeah, oh, yeah. And then I, I love doing drumsticks. You know, it's just really simple, like a little oval. I don't know, maybe I got that from an old Garfield strip or something. I and like then, it. I like <laughs> it. I'll call you back and you can, you can teach me how to do it. Okay, good seeing you. Right, thanks again. Bye for now. The next person I'm going to call is Corey Barba. Corey's really awesome. You know those uh, Geronimo Stilton books I've been doing? Well, he's the one that does the colors for them. See, I'm just turning in black and white lines. He goes through and he makes them look beautiful. So I also, though, happen to know that in addition to being a really great colorist, he's also a really great artist. I think he's been working on some movies and stuff out in Hollywood. So I bet he can teach me how to draw something cool. Hey, so Corey, how are you doing over there? Oh, hey, Tom. How are you? I'm doing great. I Excellent. would love to learn how to draw something, though. Uh, you think you can teach oh. me? Absolutely. All right. So... Uh, Corey's done such a great job on the colors for my graphic novel. What can he draw? That's my question. What is it that you're really good at drawing? Hmm. You know, one of my favorite things to draw is a Frankenstein's monster. Seriously? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Do you think I can handle that? You know how bad my drawings I, are. I, I think Tom, I think Tom's got a good Frankenstein in him. Uh-oh, okay. We should, we should try and get shot. that out. Let's give it a that shot. I do, have a bag of, I do have a bag of eyeballs. So okay. I'm halfway there. That's good. To get. That's good. You're halfway there. Great. So I like to start with, uh, you know, the most famous kind of Frankenstein has a nice square top to his head, right? Okay. Start with that. And then uh, I like to bring it down into kind of a bullet shape. That's always good. Bullet shape. Yep. And then I'm going to add like a little teacup ear here to the side. So our Frankenstein is going to be looking in this direction here. Oh, okay, okay. So about halfway through here, I am going to give him a nice heavy brow. Uh -huh, I like it. Yeah, yeah. Up on top. Oh, I we're see. You give... brought it all the way to the side there. Okay. And then uh, let's see. At the very, this is the top of his head here. I'm going to give him some nice Charlie Brown shirt hair. <laughs> nice zigzag. <laughs> Oh man, this is shaping up, and hey. I feel like uh, I feel like I'm gonna, I'm getting something. I'm starting to kind of see where this is going, <laughs> and then a couple of half circles for my man's eyes here. Okay. Oh, and I'm gonna shade those in, little circles inside those. Someone's looking at you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to give him a little C laying on its side there for a nose. Okay. And then, so it's nice and funny, I'm going to put his mouth way down here. I'm going to make it kind of a sad. Hmm. Oh, my gosh. I love it. Let's give him a couple of little, <laughs> little zombie lines across his mouth, huh? Who's this guy, huh? Who's this? Oh, man. I'm kind of feeling sorry for him. <laughs> Are you? You know, you could extend him down a little further with a neck and give it's him a like couple of little... just like when you read Frankenstein. You, you end up feeling sorry for the monster. Yeah, you hate, al always. You hate always. Victor. He's misunderstood, this guy. <laughs> yes. <laughs> if anything. Okay. And I think I messed the bolts up, but that's okay. I know I can yeah, fix the bolts if I draw another one. Yeah, yeah. Get your wrench out. <laughs> We got uh, Frank uh, Frank all right, all right. Hey, look at that. Okay, okay. Goodness gracious. You actually <laughs> did it. You succeeded. You taught me how to draw Frankenstein. Now, uh, you yourself are a mad scientist, Tom. <laughs> I feel like it. I feel like it. Corey, I can't thank you enough. I learned to draw something. That's going to be the name of the show. Tom learns to draw. And I actually did. And, and you did fantastic. Oh, man. Corey, thank you so much. If I call you back another time, will you teach me something else? Oh, for sure.
Oh, that's Anytime. fantastic. All right. Thanks, Corey. I appreciate it. I'll see you next time. Bye, Tom. See you later. The next person I'm going to call is Heather Fox. She already has a bunch of books out like Llama Destroys the World and Don't Feed the Coos. So uh, I know she's a great artist, but what really is exciting to me is that she's going to be illustrating three books with me. I, I'm writing a new series in the Inspector Flytrap universe called DJ Funky Foot. You guys may remember DJ Funky Foot from, uh, he's shown up in a couple of the other books. He's a butler. His name DJ Funky Foot. And uh, so he's going to get his own series and she's going to be illustrating it. And uh, she's really having a, I think she's having fun with it. It looks like she's having fun based on the pictures I've seen, which are awesome. Hey, Heather, how you doing out there? Hey, Tom, how are you? <laughs> I'm doing great, but I need to learn how to draw something in a hurry. Well, I'm here to show you how to draw some stuff today. Really? What, uh, what do you think you can teach me? Because I, I, I love to draw stuff. I, I just have to learn how to draw it first. So if you could show me something good, I'll see yeah. what I can do with it. I'm going to teach you how to draw something that I have drawn a lot in this book that I have done called Llama Destroys the World. Ah. Something that we might see on the back cover is lots of cake. Cake. So we're going to draw some cake today. I love it. I'd love to know how to draw cake. Oh, by the way, yeah. my, my other dog just joined us on the sofa back there. Hi, Oh, Dad. Welcome. <laughs> pick up All, a right. Pen and... All right. So. There are so many different ways you can draw a piece of cake because there's so many different kinds of cake. So maybe we can draw like three different kinds if you're up for it. Three different kinds of cake? Yeah. All right. It, it's really easy, I promise. All right, let's see what we can do. Okay, we will start with the cupcake. Okay, yeah. let's see. Cupcake, we're gonna start with kind of like ice cream. So ice cream has like, um, a little weird loop. It, it kind of looks like the the poop emoji from the iPhone. <laughs> okay, all right, that gives me something to work with. Okay, <laughs> so um, like this. Yeah, yeah, that's great. Okay, and all right. To connect it, and then okay. do little the little cupcake bottom. Okay. And I always add these little, these little lines there. Oh, right. The little ridges. Okay. Yeah. And you can either add sprinkles or a candle or I add little just like lines in there to give it some, some life. I might add a candle in because who doesn't like a, a birthday cupcake? Well, a maybe birthday two. birthday cupcake. Okay. Yeah. Okay, I'm trying now. I'm trying to learn how to draw a candle and three kinds of cake. This is turning out to be more than I expected, but I, this I'm trying. Kind of looks like a, a monster. A <laughs> it's a cupcake yeah. monster. Yeah, that's awesome. Okay, we started out with the hard one. That was the hard one. Yeah, that's the hard one. So. Okay, I think I can handle the next one then. Okay, so just for a regular piece of cake, what I do is I draw a rectangle. A rectangle. Yeah. I was expecting something else. Let's see where this goes. Okay. I can definitely do a rectangle. The combination of shapes. So then we can draw a, a triangle on top of that. Okay. I, and, uh, okay. I think I see where this is headed. Yeah. I add these little like scalloped edging, little icing loops on okay. the edge. So those are just little bumps, really? Yeah, little bumps. Okay. okay. And then add a little, let's do like a filling. So we're going to do a wavy line. And then we're going to do another wavy line just like it, right below it. And now you have a nice icing filling. It's a I layer cake. <laughs> this is great. Yeah. I feel like wow. there's. Okay, All right. So and there's another kind of cake still to there's go? There's another kind of cake. If you didn't want to do a filling, then 
Do I have space here? Yeah, I got space. So rectangle. Okay. And then for this one, when we draw the triangle, we're going to keep going. So we're going to start the triangle. We're going to add those little lumps. And then we're going to do a curvy icing line the way down. That's cool. Okay, let's see here. Start the bumps, and it's just going to yeah. go all the way down. Yeah. yeah. Oh, and then connect. And for that, I'm going to add sprinkles to that one, which are just little, little tiny lines. This is awesome. Now you can have a whole birthday party because you know how to draw all the cake. Yes, I love it. Heather, you did it. You taught me how to draw cake. Yay, you did great. Oh, thanks. Do we have cake in our book together? Uh, is there any cake yet in the Shrababy book? Ooh, you know, I don't know. I don't know, but I'll be putting cake into a future book to give you plenty of opportunity to draw cake. Well, you can draw the cake. Oh, no, no. I think yours, uh, yours are lovely. I, I like the way you do it. Heather, thank you so much for teaching me how to draw something. I sure appreciate it. Yeah. Hey, if I, call you back, if I call you back another time, will you draw, teach me how to draw something else? Yeah, I've got some things in mind. All right, excellent. Well, I'll be calling you again soon. Thank you so much. All right, cool. Bye, Bye Tom. I'll see you next time. Well, that was, that was a lot of fun. I loved calling up my friends and drawing with them. That was fun. You should you should try it yourself. Call up one of your buddies and, and draw with them. Maybe you can teach them to draw something and they can teach you to draw something. What I want to do now is take the three things I learned today and try to make one picture out of them. Let's see how it goes. So I learned uh, from Jonathan, I learned how to draw somebody running. And uh, from Heather, I learned how to draw three kinds of cake, including a cupcake. And uh, from Corey, I learned how to draw Frankenstein. So I was thinking maybe I could try to draw Frankenstein running with a cupcake. Does that, uh, do you think that would be possible? That's what I wanted to do was learn stuff from my friends and then see if I could uh, make something of my own out of it. So let's see, uh, let's see how this goes. All right, so first thing I'm gonna do is try to draw Frankenstein's head. So let's see if I can do that. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to prop this stuff up here. Let's see if that works. All right, so I'm going to try to draw Frankenstein's head again, just like Corey showed me. But I'm going to have it tilted a little bit the way that Jonathan showed me. Okay, and uh, then he has the hair like this. Okay, and then uh, he's got the brow. And the two eyes, and I'll have him looking at his cupcake, which he's, I think, I think he'll be carrying the cupcake. We'll see how that goes. And I'm going to have the mouth start there. Looks like he's smiling a little bit, at least. I'm glad he's, I'm glad he's happy. All right. I think I got sort of what Corey wanted. Let's put that straight up. Well, it's not as good as when I learned it straight from Corey, but I think it's going to be all right. Now I'm going to try to do what Jonathan wanted me to do, and I'm actually going to um, do like he did and pencil in some circles first. So uh, first we have a, some big circles for his shoulders. In fact, I think Frankenstein's got pretty big shoulders, so I'm going to make that pretty big. And then there was another circle for his stomach, and then like another circle... No, wait, a circle for his chest, and then another circle for the stomach, and then another circle for his waist. And then his arms came off. And then this will be where the cupcake is going to go. Um, and then the legs. Let me get out uh, Jonathan's picture again, see if I get this right. Okay. There was the chest. I'm drawing too many circles, have I? <laughs> it's not as easy when Jonathan's not here to help me. Okay, and then the legs. Oh, and there's the bottom. I don't want to forget Frankenstein's bottom. The legs come off. Okay. So let's see here. Put those back up there. Boy, this is uh, a little trickier than I thought. Let me get these legs in here. Oh, yeah, he said he likes to exaggerate it so that the leg almost comes up and touches the hand. And then here it will be... Frankenstein's other one. And I know I'm going to get Frankenstein big boots. So I'll draw those in later. 
Okay, here we go. Let's see if we can draw. Of course, I don't even know what kind of clothes. Oh boy, this is getting it's getting harder by the minute. Okay, so I come out for the shoulder. And then I come down for the arm, but I want to draw that raggedy part that Frankenstein has. And then I'll keep drawing the arm. And I'll give him big hands. And they'll come like that. I think that's about working. And then the sleeve goes back up from there. Okay, let's try that on the other side. I come down and draw the raggedy part. Okay. I'm just going to draw his thumb for now. Come back for the rest later since I'm trying to draw that cupcake in there. How's that looking? Okay. And then um, I don't even know what kind of shirt Frankenstein is supposed to wear. So I'm just going to draw. Just going to draw down. Just make it a little raggedy, but not make too big of a. Okay, like that. Okay, all right, and then, um, oh, I forgot Frank, I, I, I knew it, I forgot Frankenstein's bottom. Well, I'm just sort of fake that a little bit. Okay, there we go, is that, and then more raggedy part, and then a little bit of leg, and then a giant boot. All right, now it's more like a rain boot than a Frankenstein boot, but you get what you pay for around here. All right, you know, this part comes and goes up, and then uh, this comes out and down. Raggedy part goes back up. Oh, I forgot to draw the, there's a the little bit of leg and then the boot. Oh, I'm kind of wishing I had gotten the boots better. Well, <laughs> Frankenstein is, uh, he's, I'll make a puddle. He's, he's running in the rain. He, he's, um, he's splashing through the puddles. I'm glad he has on his rubber boots. All right, I just hope this cupcake doesn't get wet. Let's see here. Okay, so the cupcake was like this. I better look at it again. Let's see here. Here's the cupcake. It was, oh, she said it looked like the poop emoji. Then there was that. I think I can do this. I don't think I'll put the candle on there because I don't think Frankenstein doesn't like fire, if I remember correctly, so no candle. Okay, oh, this is an enormous cupcake. I hope he's hungry. And some sprinkles. Let's see. I think I forgot. Does he have neck bolts? <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> it's hard when they're not here to help me, but I think I think I kind of did it. I think I think uh if I asked somebody, they would know that that was Frankenstein running through the rain <laughs> with a cupcake. I think they would know that. Uh, I think it worked. I think they taught me how to draw. I drew something here that I didn't know how to draw before. I hope if you tried it out, you were able to draw something that you didn't know how to draw before. Uh, I think it's working. Maybe eventually I will learn how to draw. We'll see. We'll see. Tune in next time. And uh, we'll see if my friends, and I might call some, some new people, we'll see if my friends can help me learn to draw something else. But in the meantime, me and Cupcake Frankenstein say, see you next time, everybody. Thanks a lot. Hey, Tom, you call that a line. Try again, better luck next time with our help. Come on, y'all. It's time to teach Tom A how to draw. Get your pencils and your crayons too, markers, papers, and don't forget to glue. Tom, you can be a famous artist someday, cause he's got you to show him the way. I can't draw, somebody help